Malaga, Spain is a place known for its exotic landscapes, its mountains and beaches, its exquisite gastronomy, and its friendly people. But one of the things it's a little lesser known for is the club football team, Club Malaga. Now being that I'm a resident here of Malaga for the last four months, I've decided I've got to go to a game. And so it's only natural that I become a Malaga football fan for the day. Or as they say here, a Malagista. So join me on an adventure into the club football stadium La Rosaleda as we watch Malaga play Club Ibiza. Vamos! Before game time and here's the first look at the Rosaleda Stadium. First time going to the stadium, it's been a long time coming. Now apparently that way there's a dangerous neighborhood called La Palmia. Maybe I'll do a video there one day and check it out to see if it's really dangerous. Un tercio de Alhambra. Dos Alhambra. Una falta de ganas. You can't come to a football match without getting a beer before the football match. Dos y media. All right, you guys. So we found a pre-gaming bar where we can get our Alhambra beer before the match. Malaga CF. All right, let's go. This is gonna be a fun night, guys. So you saw the Cruz Campo tap in there, the beer one. Cruz Campo is the Sevillano or the Sevillan beer that basically they have it everywhere here in Andalusia, but. It's known for being really bad. I suggest when you come to Spain, don't make the same mistake as my friend Colin from Ireland, uh, who did try Cruz Campo the other day. And you didn't like it, right? No, I, I had forgotten how much I didn't like it. I hadn't had it for uh, probably a year. Then I had one and it was like, it hit me in the face when I drank that first few <laughs> sips. So instead of a Cruz Campo, go for an Alhambra, which we have here, or an Estrella Galicia, or an Amstel, or a Mao and you won't go wrong and you can get yourself ready for a football match. Cheers. He lived in Madrid for quite some time, just like me, so we have that Madrid connection, we have that Spain connection, and we have that connection that, you know, Irish and Americans, we always tend to get along, especially because of the fact that we both love a nice cold beer. ¿Qué significa esto? What is this? Forza e visa. ¿Eres de la Isla Baleares? Yes. Bienvenido a Málaga. Thank you. Buena suerte. Wow, check it out, España, Costa Rica, Costa Rica Pura Vida, my favorite country in Central America where I study Spanish. I love Costa Rica and I love Spain. ¿Qué opina? Cruz Campo o Estrella Galicia? Estrella Galicia. Cruz Campo o Vitoria? Vitoria. ¿Qué significa fútbol para Málaga, Club de Málaga? Pues la verdad que para todos nosotros aquí en Málaga es una... Una pasión, eh. No sé. A mí me parece que somos la mejor afición que hay en toda España y en todo el mundo. The energy is picking up here, you guys. Let's go. So you guys, this is one of the busiest streets in Malaga called Avenida de Andalucía. But it doesn't matter because the streets shut down and the party has came to the streets. You can just feel and see the passion. Malaga's in the second league in there. Hey, just hey, in their second hey, league, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're still good, man. The energy's high. Yeah, the energy's high, And even though they're in the second league, you can just feel the energy and the passion that the Spaniards carry for their football team. And that's just one of the aspects of football culture, of Spanish culture, that makes it one of a kind. And Colin and I, we're gonna head into the stadium now and we're gonna see the first look at Rosaleda Stadium. All right, guys, my first time to a soccer stadium or a football stadium. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Check it out. Malaga Rosaleda. Colin, what do you think, man? It's unreal. Oh, the first, first... the first sight of the, of the pitch is always so good. Yeah, so dude. So green and fresh. 
There's just nothing like that live sports environment. That just energy that you just cannot describe unless you're here. Wow, look at the beautiful field, the nice grass. I just want to go run and slide on it. My first football game, let's go. You can feel the energy in the stadium. I love this. Let's go. Not a good start, not a good start. Abiza just scored. People are not happy right now, but I believe in Malaga. We're gonna come back. Oh, these Malika fans are so passionate. They're whistling and blowing and screaming. Man, I love it. Viva Malaga! Viva Malaga! Fuerza Malaga! Let me teach you guys another word in Spanish. When someone says, eres un crack, that means you're like awesome, you're the shit. And all those people there, they're a bunch of cracks because they got a lot of energy. All right, guys, let me give you a little history. The team of Malaga has cut a tumultuous pass because they were bought out by a Qatar oligarch, Sikh Abdullah, and sort of left the team in shambles. But shambles or not, you can see the passion throughout the stadium. We got the radicales here. Radicales is like hooligans or the crazies, the diehard fans. So the people still come out and support their team, but they just didn't have the money that they used to have. All right, you guys, we've discovered an English flag. Apparently, this is the Geary section or the foreigner section, so we're gonna go check it out. All right, fellow English speakers, we've came to the English speaking section. Okay, we speak Dutch. We speak Dutch. Holland. Well, you're in the Geary section. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see? Ajax, Amsterdam. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Geary Army, the foreigners. Yes. So apparently, the Geary's or the English speakers, the foreigners here, they're very loyal fans. Just look at them all. Hello. Hello. Gotta love our Geary's here in Spain. I'm one of them. All right, you guys. We've upgraded our seats. Son of a biscuit, Ibiza scored again. We gotta send them back to the ba Balearic Islands. Well, they scored again, people are leaving. Dang Nabbit. Dang Nabbit Malaga. I believed in you. I still believe in you, by the way. Everybody's leaving. Even these guys. Chibato. They literally threw a Victoria beer on the field. How could you waste a Victoria f uh, beer like that? The game's coming to an end. Everyone's clapping. I don't know why, because we're losing five to zero, unfortunately. But maybe that's just the good sportsmanship. Well, you guys, we took a big loss tonight. Five nil. Our fellow Malagueños aren't happy tonight. And I understand that. But they're still cheering because they have hope for next match. Well, you guys, we didn't win today, but uh, I considered a win that my friend Colin here invited me out for a, a good night out, for a soccer match, for some beers, for some great food. So maybe next time we can win, but 
it was a good night overall. So I recommend going to La Rosaleda because it's still a great environment. The people are very passionate about their football games and you really can't lose if you have a good night out with, good night out with your buddies. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Hasta luego.